Prairie Town, everybody! Do not adjust your set. You're in our territory now. And we're glad you're here. Hey, now, partner, we suggest if you want to have fun, go west. We'll learn about God there, Buckaroo, and the love he has for you. You're going to find it, yes, indeed, if you follow a tumbleweed. Prairie's homes get sweet and clear. That is when you know you're here. Sing yippee, 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 yippee. It's a song out west that we love best. The cowboys like to say they say yippee. Yippee, 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 oh, oh. With a howdy do and a good yahoo, it's down the trail we go. Yeah well, if you like a western beat, there's some prairie dogs you should meet. Hollister owns a general store. Gilroy, he makes toys and more. Patterson and the sheriff are there. Miss Cate will style your hair. Darcy Sport, and don't forget Scout. These three around this rowdy bunch out sing yippee, 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 yippee. That's beautiful, all of you. The song out west, we love best. The cowboys like to say, they say yippee. I've heard them. yippee ta yo oh, oh, oh. With a howdy do and a good yahoo, it's down the trail we go. All right, wrap it up. I think we've made our point. <laughs> In 1 Samuel 16, 7, the Bible tells us that while we might judge someone from the outside, God judges from the inside. And learning to value the content of someone's character more than the texture of their skin was a lesson the little dogs on the prairie needed to learn on the day of our story. Not the good-looking one, present and accounted for. Yes, even the good-looking one. Beauty's a curse. It all started when Hollister, who owned the general store and telegraph office, got too busy to be able to send the telegrams. Business is booming, and I'm falling behind. Hey, Hollister, did you send my telegram to the IRS yet? Well, uh... Gilroy T. Prairie Dog. Yes? Come with us. Oh boy, I definitely need to get some help. You think you need help? Help! Thank you. Come again. Now where am I going to find someone to help me send these telegrams? My name is Stanza. Stop. I have just graduated from TTT, Telegraph Technical Training. Stop. With honors in touch tapping. Stop. Ooh, how does he do that? I still have to look at the key. We'll take any position. Stop. No need to apply. The job is yours. Stop. Come at once. Stop. If you're thinking of stopping, don't. Stop. <gasps> that must be him now. I don't get it. I thought for sure he'd be on this train. Excuse me, are you Mr. Hollister? Ah, Snake! Hello, sir. I'm Stanza, your new telegraph operator. I got your telegram. Sorry I'm late. I missed the first train. What? I can't hire a snake. Everybody knows snakes are nasty, rotten, horrible, disgusting, low-down, belly-crawling, vermin-infested varmints. Uh, no offense. None taken, sir. I'm used to it. Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. Do you realize what would happen if I hired a snake? I've got principles. I've got standards. How fast are you? 25 words a minute. Great barrier reef! Don't just sit there in a coil. That stack of telegrams ain't getting any smaller. Slither your hide over there and get to tapping. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. You're not a dangerous snake, are you? I mean, you don't eat good-looking, well-built general store owning prairie dogs, huh? No, sir. A little soup, a little salad, that's all I need. Oh, glad to hear it. And I'm a friendly snake. Don't bite, don't strangle, don't smoke, don't drink, don't chew, and don't slither with those who do. Good, but uh, I should warn you, most folks around here aren't as tolerant as me. You don't mind working nights, do you? I wouldn't want anybody to see you. No, sir. I'm used to it. Good. So that night, Stanza rolled up his sleeve and got right to work. And, true to his word, he was indeed a very clean, hard-working snake. And fast! Don't forget fast! Some of those telegrams are arriving even quicker than the mail! Things went well for quite some time. Then, one night, while the prairie dogs were tucked in their beds, they heard something in the distance. Lousy kids in their rock and roll. <laughs> if that snake doesn't keep quiet, he's gonna blow the whole deal. Oh, uh, uh, hello, folks. Uh, uh, don't open till nine. Hollister, this is beautiful. Who's doing the singing? Not wanting them to find out he had hired a snake, 
Hollister said. Uh, well, I sure didn't hire an opera singing snake, if that's what you're thinking. Don't be ridiculous. We just want to know who's doing the singing. Yeah! Who's doing the singing? All right, all right, I'll tell you. I hired someone to work the telegraph at night, but he's very shy. So if you enjoy his singing, I suggest you keep back from the store for her peace. Don't let him see you, and whatever you do, don't try to see him. Hurry up! Hurry up. I saw him. So, night after night, the townsfolk were treated to wonderful singing. I'm, you know, I'm not saying I couldn't sing like that, you know, with practice. It's just that, wow, the way the guy moves you. When the music would end for the night, they would happily wander home to their beds, sad it was over, but excited they would get to hear it again the next night. Then, much to everyone's glee, Sport came up with a way to enjoy the music at other times of the day. I've developed a contraption which will allow us to record and replay the melodious melodies on a piece of flat rotating wax. Wow! That's the kind of thing that will never be obsolete! What's the matter, Scout? Uh, I can't take it anymore, Darcy. I've got to know who that singer is. We all have to know. know! Cover me, Darcy. I'm going in. Darcy's, Darcy's, going in. Darcy's covering him. Snake! There's a snake in there! Where's the singer? I don't see the singer. <laughs> hold it, hold it. There's something I have to tell y'all. There's something we have to tell you, too. There's a snake in your store. I know there's a snake in my store, Patterson. I hired him to send telegraph messages. Nice going, Hollister. Your snake has scared away our singer. Come on, everyone. We've got to go find him. They search the prairie high and low. Anything up there? Nothing up there. How about down there? Nothing down here. Didn't find him, did you? No. I could have saved you all a trip. Now, if you just listen... Oh, sure. Now the snake lover has something to say. Well, we're not interested. Yeah. In fact, until you get rid of that snake, we're not interested in anything you have to sell, either. Yeah. I say we boycott Hollister's general store. Boycott! Boycott! Wait. Shouldn't we stock up before we boycott? We could get hungry. Excellent plan. Stock up! Stock up! Stock up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Soon, the only thing left were four small rotten kumquats. Hey, uh, next week I'm hiring a bobcat. Well, you sure showed me. Good luck with that boycott. Thank you. So there, you snake lover. We're not buying a single thing from your store until you get rid of that snake. Unless you get some more of those cheese-flavored doodly-doos in. I love those. Yeah, we're not boycotting those, are we? We've got to draw the line somewhere. You're right. Maybe we should stock up. Hollister, could you order more of those? Sure, I'll have the snake wire for some right away. Thanks. Oh, and our thanks to the snake. But after that, that's it. No more buying from you till the snake is history. Fair enough. I love this town. Stanza! Stanza! Oh, wait, what's this? It's from Stanza. Dear Mr. Mr. Hollister, Hollister, I'm sorry I caused everyone to boycott your store. But it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm rich! So, to keep from causing you any further pain, I've decided I must go. Go? Yes, go. I can't stay where I'm not wanted. Believe me, you've never been so wanted. So long, Mr. Hollister. Your friend, Stanza. Ah, oh, kid. I really liked you. P.S. I really liked you too, sir. Well, you got your wish. More doodly-doos? No. The snake is gone. Yay! Say, did he happen to wire for the doodly-doos before he left? Well, you forget the doodly-doos. All right. That snake was my friend, despite the fact that I made obscene profits off of him. I hope you're all happy with yourselves. I know I am. This place just isn't going to be the same. Once I tear it down and make my own private golf course. Hey, now that the snake is gone, maybe the singer will come back. You just don't get it, do you? The singer was the snake. The snake was the singer. What are you saying? Never mind. You'll find out. That night, the prairie dogs gathered to hear the beautiful music, content in the knowledge that because the town was now snake-free, their magnificent singer would return. They waited and waited. And nothing happened. Finally, it occurred to them. Oh. Over the next several weeks, the little dogs continued to search the prairie, trying to find Stanza, to tell him they were sorry and invite him back to live with them. Can you sing Resless Los Moblia in D? But Stanza was nowhere to be found. 
Thereafter, for quite some time, the prairie dogs gathered at night and played sports recording. The recording was all that remained. It was beautiful. And even though no one said it, no one needed to. They knew they had made a big mistake. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 18, that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. But a man of lowly spirit gains honor. If Scout had only known this, it would have saved him a lot of trouble. You see, it all started when Scout, Darcy, and Sport were sitting on the porch of Hollister's store doing one of their favorite things, telling stories. Well, one thing led to another, and Scout bragged a little about how he had learned to make balloon animals. Yes, I did it, guys, look! That's, um, really good, Scout. What is it? It's a worm. Sleeping. What's this, Sport? Just a little something I threw together while we were waiting for you to finish your sleeping worm. Watch. It's an Appaloona. Wow. Oops. Sorry, Scout. Easy, boy. You guys want a ride? If I did this right, I'll have my own ride. Cool. I'll race you, Sport. This is ridiculous. You guys can do amazing stuff with your balloons and I can't even get mine to stay in a knot. Oh, wait a minute, spoke too soon. Oh, never mind. Don't feel bad, Scout. I'm sure you could get your balloon to stay tight if it was a little longer. Whoa, Appaloona! Hey, what's going on out here? You didn't pop any of those balloons, did you? You pop them, you bought them. No, sir, Mr. Hollister. You better put them back in the bag. Yes, sir. There you go, Mr. Hollister. Oops, sorry, Mr. Hollister, I kind of popped it. Then you bought it. It's not like I can just put it in a bag and set it back on the shelf. Wait a minute. Yes, I can. Hand it over. Yes, sir. Here, have some gum. Thanks. For free? Free? Don't be ridiculous. I'll run you a tab. Free. These kids and their language these days. Oh, it's no use. I'm not good at anything. I'm a failure at everything I do. Wow, Darcy, that's a great bubble. That's a great one, Sport. Wow, Scout! That's the biggest bubble I've ever seen! Look out! She's gonna blow! That was amazing! It certainly was! Who are you? Quaggle Q, Quaggle Bush at your service. Owner and operator of the Triple Q Extra Special Prairie Dog Traveling Prairie Extravaganza. Okay, we're still working on the name. Good, Good idea. idea! You, my boy, have the kind of act that would really pack them into our show. How would you like to be a star? Really? That's great, Scout! Yeah, you've always wanted to do something special. Is that a fact, my boy? Oh, yeah. He's tried being really good at lots of stuff. First he tried math, but there were just too many numbers. Then he tried painting, but there were just too many colors. Then he tried painting by numbers, and we had to check him into a special home. But I'm better now. Of course you are. Yep, Scout's life has been one failure after another. All right, all right, he's got the point. Well, my boy, you can wave hello to your big break at last. What do you say? Only if I get a percentage of the house and some kind of benefits package. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Yeah. Welcome to the big time, kid. The world is my stage. Yours is that piece of tape in the center ring. Try not to stand too close to that man-eating tiger. One of the best trapeze acts I've ever seen is in there. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Behold the wonders of Ricky R. Roadster, who will now spell out the entire dictionary with a single lasso. Now in Hebrew. Now Cantonese. Sign language. You think I'm better than that? Let's put it this way, kid. Tomorrow night, his tape will be one step closer to the tiger. Ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, Betty B. Balancer will now juggle 300 cowboy hats, keep 19 hula hoops hula hooping, totter on the tip of one of her spurs while twirling a grand piano on her nose. I don't know, kid. To me, that act has always needed something. And now, our newest act, Scout, will blow a really big bubble. Friends are gonna hear about this. <laughs> Look out, she's gonna blow. We'll be covered in gumcoo. Stuck the white back in. Take a bow, kids. They love ya. This is unbelievable! Here I was thinking I wasn't very special. Little did I know, I'm the most special prairie dog of all! I'm a star! Hey, a title like that's gotta come with some great perks! Demands, eh? I think I've earned them. Such as? My own private dressing room. Unthinkable. With a star on the door. Outrageous. The best bubble gum money can buy. Practical. The gum is yours, but the rest you'll get over my dead buddy. You wouldn't want me to have to call in sick tonight, would you? Like I said, kid, the private dressing room with the star on the door is yours. You know me, I'm a giver. Love to give. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Ooh, is that a wrinkle? Oh, nope, just a shadow. <laughs> Don't panic. Ah, yes. And you are? You know us. It's me, Sport. And Darcy's here, too. Mm, not making the connection. Sorry. We used to tell fun stories together in front of Hollister's store. He'd give us treats and gum and run us a tab, remember? Sport, that was four days ago. Of course he remembers. Uh, <clears throat> listen, I'm trying to be gentle here, okay? I, I know who you are, but... I'm a star now. I can't be seen talking to you. Now scram! I can't believe you're treating us like this, Scout. You're just not the same dog we once knew. Security! Okay, okay, we get your point, Scout. We're leaving. Kids today. Scout, there's someone I want you to meet. Go away. I'm getting ready for tonight's show. It's not for another three hours. But as an extra special prairie dog, I need time to get in the mood. I don't know, I'm just not feeling the gun tonight. Scout, I'd like you to come out here and meet... Bubble Blowing Bob, who, by the way, is feeling the gum tonight. Who? I challenge you to a bubble blowing duel. Three pieces of gum, biggest bubble wins. I could use a warm up before the show. Let's make it interesting. You use three pieces, and I'll just use one. Let's make it really interesting. I'll use a chiclets. Then I'll use a Tic Tac. I'll dry out the inside of my mouth with a hair dryer. I'll fill my mouth with sand. Stop it, stop it, both of you. No hair dryers, no sand. You both use three pieces of bubble gum. I want a fair and even contest, if you believe in that sort of thing. Sorry, kid. Gotta go with the winner. You're fired. Don't let the tent flap hit you on the way out. Hi. 
Guess you heard I'm not the best bubble blower on the prairie anymore. <laughs> Listen, I know I acted badly and I wasn't a very good friend. I, well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Hey, Scout! Yeah? Heard any good stories lately? I heard one about a guy who could blow really big bubbles because his head was so full of hot air. Is that the one where he comes crawling back to his friends like a snake in the grass? Yeah, that's, that's the one. Heard it. Oh. But we wouldn't mind hearing it again. Yeah, we've always kind of liked the guy who told it. Maybe he couldn't blow the biggest bubbles anymore, but he was still their friend. And that, all by itself, made him extra special. The Bible, it will tell you, pride comes before a fall. It's a humble heart that in God's eyes is standing tall. Standing tall. Standing tall. for too much pride. The Bible tells us in James 1, 19 to 20 that we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Sure, in a perfect world. You see, Hollister and Gilroy are good friends now, but there was a time... Thanks to Hollister. It was a sad chapter in our lives. One of many. Thanks to Gilroy. Mr. Hollister, you won't believe it. You just won't believe it. Believe what? I just came from the train station and... Oh, sure. It's the old I just came from the train station line. If I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. No, no, no. This time it's for real. Oh, sure. It's the old this time it's for real line. If I've heard it once... Mr. Hollister, please. Mr. Patterson was on the train and what he told me. Hoo-wee. You're never going to guess who's coming in on the noon stage. No, but I can guess when he's coming in. It's Mr. Gilroy. And word is, he's carrying a grudge for you. Grudge? That's what he said. Well, why? What'd I ever do to him? I mean, besides buying the horse he was saving up for. That's pretty bad. Not half as bad as stealing his business. You stole his business? And his girl. Ooh. Yeah, those were some fun times. Say, you don't think he's holding all that against me, do you? I suppose anything is possible. Well, what's his problem? Can't he let bygones be bygones? I can't believe it. Of all the dirty, rotten things to do, carrying a grudge all these years. How immature, how childish. Yeah, guess it's best just to forget about it, huh? Oh, sure. That's just what he'd want me to do. I'm not going to let him get away with this. It makes me look like I'm not worthy of his forgiveness. Well... Two can play at that game. If Gilroy is carrying a grudge for me, then I'll just carry a grudge for Gilroy. What do you think? Um... Look, a shooting star! What are you talking about? It's broad daylight. I know. I just wanted to change the subject. You're creeping me out, Mr. Hollister. Whoa! Good stop, Prairie Town. Stop after that, Prairieville. Stop after that, Prairie Burg. Followed by Prairie City, Prairie Wood, Prairie Opolis, Prairie Falls, Prairie Heights, and the Great Prairie Flats. Last but not least, Prairie Beach. Return trip will be as follows. Prairie Beach, followed by Prairie Flats, followed by Prairie Heights. Uh, <coughs> uh, thank you. Uh, I'll be getting off here. Five minutes. Five minute rest. Uh, yes, but you see, I, I bought a ticket for Prairie Town. This is where I live. Fair enough. Ten minutes. Ten minute rest. No, no, no. See, I, I, I'm not going any farther. I, I live here. I, I won't be going on another vacation until next year. Fair enough. Twelve months. Twelve months rest! Um, well, uh, okay. See you then. Prairieville. Hollister! Gilroy. Did you get my message? I did, and I'm here to tell you you're not going to get away with it. Get away with what? You know what! I don't have to put up with your shenanigans. I'm keeping my eye on you, mister. Hollister, have you been twirling around in circles really fast again? Yeah, what of it? Well, you're not making any sense. I think we both know what I'm saying. Well, could you run it by me one more time? I've said too much already. You haven't said anything. And that's all I'm saying. Uh, but you... Uh, Gilroy! Uh, <laughs> I, 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 oh, I see you talk to Hollister. Yeah, well, <laughs> if, you, if you can call it that, Patterson. 
I think he's gone slap happy. Word around town is he carrying a grudge for you. A grudge? Why would Hollister carry a grudge for me? What'd I ever do to him? I mean, besides tricking him into buying that lame horse he thought I was saving up for. That's pretty bad. Not half as bad as setting him up with that general store. That thing will never make a dime. Unless, of course, there's a boycott. You set him up with the general store? And this clinging woman I couldn't get rid of. Cleaning woman? You couldn't get rid of a cleaning woman? What does she do what I do? Move! Hey, yeah, that's how I got rid of my gardener. You think gardeners are bad? Try getting rid of a handyman. Had to fake my own death. Twice! He was a clingy handyman. They're the worst kind. I think he finally gave up and opened his own toy factory. Wait a minute. I was your handyman. Patterson, you're alive! Well, I... Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Patterson, get up. I know you're not dead. Yes, I am. I mean, uh, I'm not Patterson. I'm his brother, uh, Schmatterson. Just thought I'd lay down here and work on my tan. Oh. Well, you look just like Patterson. May he rest in peace. Nice tan. Thanks. Say, Schmatterson, can you believe Hollister would hold all that against me? Nope. Hand me the suntan lotion, would you? Can't he let bygones be bygones? Here. Well, if that's the way he wants it, two can play at this game. I can hold a grudge just as well as the next guy. Wait a minute. I'm the next guy. All right, three can play at this game. Didn't mean to leave you out there, Schmatterson. It's all right. I won't hold it against you. You really don't get this game, do you? Hey, Hollister, Gilroy just left. I know. I heard every word he said. Well, four can play at this game. There's only one way to solve this, with a showdown. Well, you can talk to him. Okay, two ways. Or you can forgive and forget. Okay, three ways. I'll have a showdown. Okay, four ways. Ooh, I like that last idea, Schmatterson. By the way, sorry to hear about your brother. May he rest in peace. Hope he didn't suffer much. It was quick. Listen, you tell Gilroy I'll meet him in the street at noon. After a ten or now? Now. Okay. <laughs> Gilroy! Gilroy! Hollister said he'd meet you in the street in June! June? Well, it's much too hot to be out in the street in June. You tell him I'll meet him in January. Now we're... Thank you. Will do. Hollister, Gilroy said he'd meet you at 12.30. Either that or January, he couldn't make it out exactly. Well, I've got January and 12.30 available. But if he doesn't meet me at 12.30, then at 12.31, I got a dentist appointment. After that, I won't be available till February. More 145. At that point, half the day is gone. You tell him if we're gonna do that, we might as well meet under the moon. I'm going. Whew. Gilroy, Hollister said you might as well meet at noon. Well, that's more like it. Noon it is then. And so they met at 417 on a cloudy day in May. Despite the gloominess, the atmosphere was very festive. All right, Gilroy, it's just you and... Stop it! Hey! Go ahead, Hollister! Make your play! Bring your partner round and round! Lose him in the crowd where they can't be found! Go, she go! Probably! Out of your partner? Stop it! Stop it! Everybody out of the street! This is a showdown! Showdown? I thought you said it was a holdown! Everybody back! Oh. Now, Gilroy, it's just you and me! All right, you two! Bow to your partner! Oh, oh all right. right. Okay. Cut it out, Schmatterson! Now, Gilroy, it's just you and me! Howdy, boys! And the sheriff! Sheriff! Don't try to stop us, Sheriff! Gilroy and I are having it out once and for all! Don't tell me. Let me guess. You heard that Gilroy was coming in on the noon stage carrying a grudge, right? Whoa! How do you do that? But Gilroy, when you came in on the noon stage, you weren't carrying a grudge, were you? No! You're good. What were you carrying? Well, some luggage. And? My hat. And? Some fudge for Hollister. Some fudge for Hollister. So you weren't carrying a grudge. You were carrying what? My luggage. My hat. Some fudge. Some fudge for Hollister. Now hold it, Sheriff. You're saying he isn't carrying a grudge for me? That's right. Wow. How'd you figure that out? I've been sheriff in this town for ten years. And every year it's the same thing. Gilroy comes back from vacation on the noon stage carrying some fudge, and you think he's carrying a grudge. You must be some sort of boy wonder genius. No. Well, yes, but that's beside the point. The sheriff before me was here for 20 years, and he knew it too. And the sheriff before him was a houseplant, and he knew it too. In fact, there's not a stone or piece of sagebrush nor doorknob in the entire territory that doesn't know all about the annual fudge-grudge mix-up. 
except for you two. Oh, and, uh, Patterson. May he rest in peace. Now, oh, wait a minute. I was carrying some fudge for Hollister, but I was also carrying my hat. Oh, boy. See you next year, fellas. And so that day, once again, everyone learned an important lesson about being slow to anger and listening carefully. Oh, I get it. Grudge sounds a lot like luggage. Well, almost everyone. Love is big, it's bigger than a western sky. Love is what makes the prairie sunshine high. Love is better than a desert flower. God is who gives love its power. God is who gives love its power. But love is quick to listen and slow to anger. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, love don't ever hold a grudge now, Wrangler. Oh yeah? That you gives the benefit of the doubt. Forgiving is what love's about. That is what love's all about. We ain't got time to have a showdown. It's more fun to have a hold down. The dosey does and the fiddle gets rowdy. It'll sure be a hoot for howdy. Fetch your hat and round up your bandana. Banana? We're gonna sing from Texas to Montana. Now that could take some time. When you forgive, you cannot fail. With a heart of love, you can hit the trail. Cowpokes, let's go hit the trail. When you forgive, you cannot fail. With a heart of love, you can hit the trail. Cowpokes, let's go. Cowpokes, let's go. Cowpokes, let's go hit the trail. I think he was talking to you and you know it. Not me. Tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, donne e ragazzi, vecchie fanciulle, quella parrucchia, presto la barba, quella salfigna, presto il biglietto, tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono, quella parrucca, presto la barba, presto il biglietto, ehi, figaro, 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 sono qua, ehi, figaro, Son qua, figaro qua, figaro là, figaro qua, figaro là, figaro su, figaro giù, figaro su, figaro giù, prendotissimo, son le pulmine, sono i fattori della città, della città, della città, della città, della città. La 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 la